Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial here for Metal Gear Solid 2. This time we're going to take a look at the bomb diffuser route for the very easy difficulty. This has been played on PC uh, just because it's easier to capture and show inputs and so forth. But you can use this basically on any version you want. You can run this on Sol like this, you can run it on HD and of course on Substance no matter what platform you prefer. The focus on this video is to explain in particular how some specific rooms work if you go counterclockwise and especially if you use the conveyor belt glitch. Just a quick uh, summary, we're gonna go and start at strut C and go backwards to B, A, F, E. At E we're gonna use the conveyor belt glitch to teleport back to strut C and then finish off at strut D to defuse the last bomb. We then go back to strut E, use the conveyor again and use a different box and then teleport to strut A. There's a few specific things per room that I want to show you. I'm going to reset a few rooms and then hopefully you know everything you need to know in order to do your first runs with this counterclockwise and conveyor belt glitch version of the run. All right, so you just got out of the whole codec and cutscene section with Stillman. And if you did your RAM manipulation, so the M9 was in your previous before you entered Pluskin's dialogue and then kept it untouched until we got all the way to Stillman, you can now just use R2 to get the M9 back into your hand. I'm going to start by walking south here. I'm going to go around here. Once you reach that wall here, you can do two cartwheels without any issues. Just try to take them straight down. And doing one of these cartwheels, you can also equip the coolant spray. I'm going to do coolant spray, R2 and then down, let go, tap R2 again ideally before the cartwheel ends. So you come around the corner, do a cartwheel, go to the coolant and immediately tap R2 again. You fear you can do another one. And make sure to unequip turbo. What we're going to do is we're going to go first here to the ladies bathroom. And I see people go all the way here trying to defuse the bomb. There is no way to get a fast bomb, it's absolutely not worth it. So when you come down from this hallway, again, just imagine we made a copy here, go like this, and then you can stop here. This is the point where you can stop. It's totally fine. You don't need to go any way further. A slow bomb will do. Just take the distance from here. Equip the coolant, spray down. This will freeze the bomb. Use your turbo to, of course, skip the codex here. Unequip. And I suggest maybe you want to unequip it. For pros, you can, when you come down here, you can do a copy like this, but as you can see, it's also very easy to mess it up and do it into the wall. So my general uh, recommendation when it comes to copy odds is maybe don't do them if you're not feeling comfortable yet. So after you defuse the bomb here or frozen it, come down and just sort left. Way easier to do. I will give a few recommendations throughout this route where you can do copy odds easily without risking using time and I will give a few recommendations where if you feel more comfortable with it you can do card grids but maybe you shouldn't just when you start. All right let's enter the bridge. In the bridge we're going to take an alert here we're going to walk you can do three card grids here before the alert hits. You want to hold L1 and then shoot one spore. Do another card wheel. This one you definitely want to do. You want to do a card wheel over the sleeping body of this guard here so don't slow down and move on and go south here. And thankfully though, we're playing on very easy. The alert doesn't carry over. We start here in strut B straight up again. Now what we want to do is defuse the next bomb. We go here to the side, through the door, triangle. And don't move at all. It's very key. Just skip the cutscene. Don't move at all. Tap R2 to go to the coolant spray. Cool it and you will have immediately a fast bomb defuse or fast freeze. I'm going to do that one more time. Go down, activate, skip cutscene, which didn't happen this time, funny enough. R2 and then spray. After that, you can go down. There's two card wheels you could do in length here. What you want to do now is as you cross this guard, I recommend to hold him up. For that, of course, you need to hold L1 or the left uh, bumper. Keep walking and then hold square or X on the Xbox button. You can just move on. Even if he alerts, it's fine. You can just go through here. For the pros, you can do a cartwheel in a very specific situation. Let me just... If you walk like this, this line here, this is the line. This line. On this line, you can make a cartwheel and then hold it. And basically, you will land on your belly. 
and are far enough into the door that you save a few frames. I'm going to show you the strat one more time in full motion. We go here. Skip the cutscene if there's one. This time there's one. There, there is none. Fast propellant. Two cartwheels if you want. You can just do one, it's fine. Hold up the guard. And as you go around the corner, take this line and hold down the A button or the X button to do a cartwheel into the door that will end on you lying down. And then you can save a few frames. It's perfectly fine if you just walk through the door as well, if you don't feel comfortable with it yet. Because it can very easily happen that you miss the door and it's slightly too high or slightly too low and then can't really into the door frame and then you have to awkwardly crawl into the door. So it's just for the, I guess, more advanced people that want to get a few more frames out of their movement. So it's perfectly fine if you just take the walk. On the AB connection bridge, it's very simple. We walk up here. You can do a cartwheel here, it's not too bad. You can do two cartwheels here, and just make sure that you go on the north side here. There's one cartwheel you can do here, go up. Don't recommend doing any cartwheels here, that's really for the top 1% pros. And just go through the door. Nothing too much to remember. Strut a pump room. This one is a bigger room, we're gonna take it in a few chunks. So basically what we have to do is first we're going to get rid of the guard that's here. We don't want him to call in an alert. And there's two ways we can do this. The easy way of course going, shoot him and then move on. But that's not necessarily a fast version. So let me show a faster version. And this one will include holding up the guard. So we go in here, go immediately here. And then from this distance you can already hold him up. As you can see, this guard is now looking south. If you look south, sadly you still have to um, shoot him or do a cartwheel for him to knock him out. Because if we go now, he's like, huh? what the hell? And he's gonna call in the alert it's that the we don't wanna have happen. He only stays this way if he's being held up looking right, like this. If he's looking right, he doesn't see you move past him like this, right? And then you can just continue on and he will stay for the entirety of the rest of the room like this, being held up. As I said, if he's looking down and you bypass him, he will see that you are not holding him up anymore. He will let go and then calling the alert. So just to recap uh, quickly here. When you enter the room, there's a few ways you can do this. You can either do a cartwheel through the guy. You can enter the room and trank the guy like this. Or you can go through the room and hold him up. Like this. If you want to let go of the M9 shot, you can never let go because you have enough ammunition. Or you could do a cartwheel and let go during the cartwheel of the attack button. That way you don't waste the bullet, which might be useful for later. Either way, how you deal with this guard, you want to enter this room here where the actual pumps are. In this pump room, you can either go clockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't matter. So long as you don't go all the way back again halfway. The things we need to do here for the conveyor route is that we have to grab the box that's here in this room and we need to cool the bomb. I'm going to show you first the counterclockwise version. So we go left. You can do roughly two cartwheels if you want. Go down here. There's like one more cartwheel you can do if you come around the corner like this and then cartwheel. Not too bad. Go over these stairs and then you need to crouch down. And this is the first instance where we want to use the so-called coolant rise. What is the coolant rise? The coolant rise is a very simple technique. We're going to tap R2 to equip the coolant. We're going to press X. And as we can see, it takes a long time to stand up, right? We do this again. We're just going to come back here, turn around. I can't even flip. <laughs> so coolant rise, take again. What we're going to do is we're going to be here. As long as our butt is past the uh, pipes, we're good. We're gonna tap R2, press X, and then press R2 again. And this is a way faster way of standing up. It's called the coolant rise, because we equip the coolant, press X, and then tap away to equip a different weapon, in this case the M9, to um, interrupt this standing up animation and already being stood up. Go down here, grab the box one, and go back again. Same thing going back, crawl through, R2, XR2, to be standing up faster. And what you want to do now is, preferably during the cartwheel that you equip the box one. So I'm going to do a cartwheel here. Uh, hold L2, and you see, thankfully, sensor A and box one are right next to each other, so I need to just tap down, let go, far two, and I'm good. 
Now you see me being in the comp box, box here while I was doing the comp here. Ideally, when you let go, you tap R2 one more time. So during this copy, you want to equip the box one and tap L2 again. So you don't walk in the box. Walking in the box is slightly slower than walking without the box. So having the box, we really only want to use it as least as possible and only when we really need it. But we need to have it ready for on previous. So we want to do the copy, equip the box one and then tap L2 again. And then we can move on. On these stairs, you can do a cartwheel to hold down the action button to be already crawling at the bottom. So when you come from the south, you can go here, you can walk and then crouch. Or alternatively, what you can also do is, when you come over these stairs, as soon as you are on this next step, not at the top, but on this next step, do a cartwheel and hold down the A or X button and you will already be lying down. It saves just a few more frames. It makes up for good movement. You want to crawl all the way here through the two pipes. Once again, once Ryan is basically with his butt past the pipes, do a coolant rise. So R2, X, R2. Go to the left here. And you basically want to be roughly here. Right When you come from the left, you can be roughly align yourself with this pipe. This, this pipe here only lets you go as far, right? So you go like this. Crouch. And go to the left. This is a perfect example of what I mean with Raiden's butt. You see he's barely with his butt past the pipes. Now what you can do is, basically you can do a double menu. Well first off we do a coolant rise with R2, X, R2. And then we can do one more X, R2 to be back again in the coolant spray. Now you want to make sure that your knees are aligned well. I can do this without needing to check my knees, but if you're Basically, just starting out learning this, you want to make sure your kneecaps are basically on the white line at the bottom. Right, see where Raiden's kneecaps end? They're just on the white line. That's the ideal distance you want to defuse the bomb from behind here. And you can just go like this. And then the bomb gets defused. In any case, you just got out of the cortical, so you want to quickly remove the coolant, hold right, do another coolant rise now, so R2, X, R2. Oops, mess it up. Walk over here, crouch, and now this is key. You don't want to just go right and down. Once you are halfway in this pipe, you can ever do this with D-pad, with bottom right D-pad, or you do this with analog stick just down here. As you've seen, I literally poured it just a few centimeters. Let me show that again here. As we come from the side, crawl, and then you can do either D-pad or with the same angle with the analog stick. Hold here and we'll be pushed slightly forward. Once we are past the second pipe, once again do a coolant rise and you can go. You can walk over these stairs, that's perfectly fine. Alternative, you can also start doing a cartwheel. You have to be with your feet on the first step or else you will fall. Right, as you can see here. Go like this and then do a cartwheel and you end up maybe a little bit further south rather than just walking. But you can save a few frames by not needing to take all the steps here. I personally don't do that even. To be completely honest with you, I don't even do that carpentry. I'll just take the walk here just because I don't want to fall. Because if I fall, of course, that takes even more time. And at the end here, as we see, we just move on. We did the full circle around the whole uh, construction here. And that's the counterclockwise. At the end, you just go through and leave through the door. And as you can see here, the entire time this guard has been held up. It's very easy, on the very easy difficulty. If he doesn't see you go away, as we've seen here, he will be held up the entire time. Let's do this one more time, but we do this clockwise in this room. So we're gonna go down here once again. Freeze. Holding him up. Do a if we want, and this time we go south. We're gonna first defuse the bomb, which is fine. And then we go left. Coolant rise, go here, coolant rise, and then do another coolant equip. Fuse the bomb, use turbo to skip the cutscene, unequip coolant and hold right, coolant rise, crawl to the 45 degree angle here, coolant rise, and if you keep going south, 
So if you do the clockwise round, here I actually would recommend to do the cowboy down the stairs. Because even if you're at the top of the stairs, you end up here, where you want to end up anyway, to continue left. So there's one cartwheel, an additional possible here. Then you want to go down here again. Grab the box with the coolant rice. Go back, another coolant rice. And now don't do the mistake, you don't want to go left here. Coming back after the box, you're going to go over here. And make sure to do at least one cartwheel, so you can equip the box one. Hold L2, go down, L2 and tap L2 again, so you don't, after the cartwheel has ended, end up in the box and continue walking with the box. That's slightly slower. You want to basically do this cartwheel, so one more time. Just like with the counterclockwise version and the clockwise version, you come back here, do a cartwheel. Just like with the counterclockwise version in the clockwise version as well, you do a cartwheel, L2, down L2 and tap L2 again to have the box one on previous now, but not actually equip it. And then you can just go and leave. Either way is fine if you do the counterclockwise or if you do the clockwise, as far as I understand. Most people I think have just seen the counterclockwise version where they go left first here and don't go down. But from my knowledge, both versions are fine. All right, that has been Strat A, let's move on, because we still got a lot of room to cover. Just a reminder, like, Strat A is the big room. This is where you can save or lose a bit of time, depending on how you're doing. Thankfully, on the FA bridge here, there's not much you need to know. Just follow the path, and you want to make sure that you stay on the right side of this bridge. So just move on. You can do a few card wheels if you want. You can track this guy, you cannot track this guy, it's fine. But after the Cypher has seen you, you have to be ready to shoot the next upcoming guard. So hold down L1 and get ready to hold down the extra square button. We need to shoot this guy here. And then we can move through the door. Stratif, a little bit more technical, but not too complex. We start here without an alert, so this guard that's coming south in this hallway will immediately see us. And there's two ways we can deal with him falling down. One is a bit more tricky, one is a little bit easier. You can decide for yourself. Once we enter the room, get ready to shoot this guy. And if we walk through him, you see like, ah, it takes really a long time. So what you can do to be a little bit faster, you either come up here, shoot him and then do a card through him, which is fast, but you can end up, for example, in the wall accidentally, so it's a little bit tight. And alternatively here, you can come down and then do the box equip. If you have the box equip, you can walk way faster through this guy. After that, you want to go to the left here, you want to... There's two ways how you can drop down here, by the way. You can either lean first and then drop over, or what's significantly faster, and which is something where you want to use turbo again. If you come from here, you want to take a slight bit to the left here, you know, a little bit too far left. Right, you come from here, do the circle and do a front flip, where you go over the railing as you walk forward, not as you lean against it. In both versions, you just put on the coolant spray, spray down. You don't need to crouch at all. Bomb has been diffused, you're good to go. So normally, that guy would be just walking left here, and you can either land next to him, or you land right on top of him. So I gotta do this room again, and this time at full speed. I'm gonna do my preferred method, which is trank and then cartwheel. The drop here. Remember never to have turbo on when you use the coolant spray. And as you can see, you can either drop on top of him or next to him. If you're on top of him, it can happen that he lands in a way that is basically obstructing your run. And then you will be slowed down a little bit. Either equip the uh, box again in that case, or ideally you land just next to him. He will be distracted for long enough so that you can go away. If you use later in the shell, the stuns, you want to grab them now. We're not coming back to this uh, warehouse because we don't grab the AK on very easy in the warehouse. Grab the stuns here if you need them. If you don't use the stun method for the directional mic um, retrieval, just don't grab them. You can just walk on. And then we're going to get to this bridge. Before we enter the next bridge, get ready to have turbo on because we got to skip a cutscene right away. So just hold on the A or X button. Let go. Get ready to press select, because there's a car coming in. And now after this, we want to get ready for another cool thing. There's a claymore in our way. Just down there, right? And we want to grab it. 
on easy and normal we actually need it even on very easy we can use it or we can use it not at all we definitely want to get it out of our way though that's the key part so that's why we're doing this even if we don't use the claim or ever in this run you still want to get it out of your way and it's very easy to do as you move on try to be center here you want to be roughly in the center line once you approach this first line you get two Cody cards and you want to make sure to never never card below over this line you want to walk into this line answer the codex and ideally I always uh, turn top off and you want to do a card wheel forward you want to do a card wheel forward and hold down A or X of course to end up being on the floor and you want to start doing this card from this second line here that you can see this is the line where you want to do your card wheel from so when you come like this hold down X you land straight in the claymore but because you're technically already on the floor crawling the game has like okay you're on the floor pick up the claymore and you can move on it will not explode it will only explode if you do the carp wheel too late that's why this basically third line let me go back again quickly that's why this third line is so important this is the line where you get the codec one line and then this third line this is where you want to do the carp wheel forward of course as you're standing down of course, as you're lying down, you want to stand up quickly again. So we're going to use another coolant rise, R2, X, R2. And then we can move on. Now, this card usually doesn't see us because by the time we enter here, it's already done. So let me restart the room quickly and then show you once again at full speed. Skip the cutscene. Get the code call usually here. Get the code call usually here. Undo turbo and then you can do just a copy forward and as we can see your claymore has been picked up i was slightly too early but it's fine cool and rise and move on make sure to stay on this line here like this line it's very simple why because there's two more claymores one on the left right here which you would normally trip over and there's a claymore coming up right here which you also don't want to trip over right as i said right to here Codec, codec here, carb wheel, grab the claymore, cool and rise, and then stay on the right so you don't blow up. And there you go. You can do a car wheel down this hallway, and you can do two car wheels, like when you're starting here roughly, like one, two, but as you've seen, like my car wheel, for example, was slightly to the left. We don't want that to happen. We want to have a clean car wheel down the lane here. All right, moving on to study. Strutty is very simple. Follow the path that I take. You can do a carpool here. You don't have to. Go up the stairs. There's literally nothing you need to worry about. And you can go. Once we're on strut E here, I see people doing uh, many different things to get over these stairs. Now, the pro version is quite simple. And I'm going to show you that. The alternative is you go up here and you can do a carpool as soon as your feet like hit the first step. Right, that's also possible, but that's kind of slow. And the way simpler method is holding down left on the D-pad. So as you stand here, you hold down left D-pad and as Raiden is turning down here, like uh, down here, that's when you can do a card view. Now, if I do it now, it works, but you want to do it in full motion. So when I enter this room, I hold down left on the D-pad and it still works even if you're on the angle that's slightly towards the wall. You don't have to be perfectly down here. You can also be slightly to the left. Definitely don't want it looking like this. <laughs> if you go here and try to do it, you will fall on your butt. So just hold down left on the D-pad and then card wheel as you see fit. You know, that's quite a fast method to get over these days. Of course, do another card wheel here, and then we have another cutscene coded that we can skip. Now on the rooftop. Very simple to get to the bomb. You're gonna just do here. I center myself usually, do a few cartwheels. And then here is the key. Ava walk up and then go prone or use a cartwheel to go prone. And you cannot go any closer, so it doesn't matter how close you are. You can even be slightly further away from the bomb. Right. Now this set of uh, codex actually is faster if you don't turbo it by holding A or B. It is technically faster by having the fast forward, which you get by double tapping triangle or Y. So 
what I usually do is I start this um, codec here by just holding down the A button and then I tap B or X to move over to the fast forward. Because every time when this portrait on the side changes, it is a few frames faster if you have it with the fast forward button. After the bomb has been defused, use another coolant rise technique, although in this end you just need to stand up and then unequip the coolant spray. And because I've been spotted, you know, because my timing was off, I have to restart the area quickly. So we can start here, over here, do a few car races. You can just not do any of them. Do one last car break here, and if you use the bump. See now, as I'm holding on A, I'm tapping X. You can even tap both, just to get to this fast forward, because you save a few frames if you're in fast forward, in this codec specifically, when the portraits are changing. There's a few of them later as well. Hold an X to get up and then unequip the coolant spray. If this guard notices you, that's fine. We just have to make sure that we grab this box free here. Now, I technically don't even do any carpets down the way here. I just walk. But you can do carpets if you want. Just know that if you do a bad carpet with a bad angle, you don't save any time at all. So that's why even I currently I still use uh, just walking. Now, as you've seen here, I just did a carpet over these stairs. Slightly faster, but you can also just walk. Now, here's the point where we get to the conveyor bag glitch. We're back again at Stride E. We're gonna do a carpool down here. And, oh, very important. Make sure that it's as early as possible. When you get through the store, let me show it again. When you get through the store, just hold the uh, stick up and immediately do a carpool. You can even do a carpool into the wall, that's fine. Because there is technically a seam glitch up there if you go across a certain texture and you will crouch instead of doing the carpool. Do another copy down the second flight of stairs, and then we're gonna get ready to do the glitch. What is the glitch? Now, the glitch is usually you need to go on this pedal, you need to equip a box, then the whole conveyor will stop, and you can go on. And you need to be also on the other side, I think. This is just to get out. What we can do now is we can glitch on top of this conveyor, and it looks like this. I go first person, I turn left, and you can basically see how this... Oh, no, actually, these red boxes, these... This is my particular view. Right? So I can... Let me go up quickly. If I just turn left, you can do it with D-pad or the stick, it's fine. I go like this, I press triangle, and I start getting up on the glitch. Uh, and I start getting up on this command. Right? Problem is, as you can see, I need to start moving as well, because I will immediately fall off, so I need to hold my stick or my D-pad forward. And now, in the glitch state, while the conveyor is still running, we can already walk here. Could also drop off very easily. So just remember, when you come from the corner, you're gonna go down here, lean against the thing, go all the way to the right, first person, and I use this align trick of the red box, so it's basically on the right side of my feet of view. There's people that also use the M9 here. You can, for example, shoot this pipe here. That's also still a fine angle. Press triangle and then hold forward. You always need to hold forward a slight bit. There is a problem and a risk with it if you keep holding forward, because then you'll be here. You will be soft locked. There's no way you can get out of this. So be careful. I can reset the room because I have the trainer, but of course this is not allowed during a run. So you have to practice this. Right, you come up here, lean against this, to the right, left, and just hold a slightly forward. Just a few frames, so you stand on top of it. After you stand on top of it, you're fine. You will not fall off again. And after that, you go over here and you're over here. You can do a copy to the right. This is what pros do, you can also just equip the box. The first box we need to equip is the one that we already prepared on previous beforehand. So you just go here, box one, walk over to the right. See, it's very easy to fall down it's here and soft lock yourself. Don't do that. So in full motion, two carpets down here. Lean against the wall. I do it specifically in D-pad because it's easier for me. Hold forward slightly and then go left, mm -hmm. up, right. Ava, equip the box there. and walk through the right or the fancy way. Or the fancy way, you do a copy to the right and then doing the cartwheel, cut the box. 
As I explained, you save a few frames by not walking with the box equipped. And we only need the box to be active when we hit this load zone behind there. So do a copy forward, tap L2, and then the game knows, ah, box one, you're in this load zone, I will teleport you over to strut C. As I said, it's perfectly fine. You can just equip the box and walk right if this car wheel is too unsafe for you. Now we're in strut C, we're almost done. Just one more bomb to go. We're gonna go here through the hallway and we're gonna get Stillman's uh, bomb sensor, which is a lot like this. And if you start this room like I do normally, the guard will see you way too late and you can get away without even being fully spotted here. It's fine. Who's there? And this is very easy. Even if there's an alert, it's fine. You can just move on. And now we finally go clockwise for the first time. We're going to go to the strut uh, D. But before we go there, there's a few things we need to do. First off, we use the box 1 to teleport to strut C. The next time we want to teleport, we're going to use the box 3 that we equipped on strut E. The box 3 will get us to strut A back again where we need to end up. So what we're going to do is we go on this bridge, do like one cartwheel, hold down L2, and then just do down and left. From here, just from sensor A, down left. Once again, when you let go, tap L2 again, and then you can keep walking. When this guard sees you, you want to equip the box for a few frames so you don't get stopped when he starts shooting you. Even he shoots you. In this case, he kicked me, so it's not fine. Normally, in full speed, it looks like this. Notices me, put the box on, shoots me, and we're not, we're not getting stopped when we get shot while in the box, so that's why we actually put on the box, because if we get stopped by being shot, that's even slower than just having the box on for a few frames and get shot with the box on when we don't get stopped. So again, you enter this bridge, <laughs> all the way from the beginning, let's do it again. You come on here, you have the sense A on, cartwheel, down, left, and two again, sees you, box on, keep walking, and walk through the door. Because the guard has seen you, there's also no cutscene playing with the camera here. Normally, if, um, for example, if we go clockwise, Snake would be ahead of us and he would have already taken out that guard. And then we would have a cutscene here playing where the camera sees you. Alternatively, you can also shoot the guard yourself with the M9. Then this cutscene would still have uh, happen. So the guard, we let the guard see us actually. So this cutscene with the camera doesn't start at all. And because it's very easy, it doesn't even matter if you're slow and you have the alert active here. Once you enter the next room, the alert is gone. So this whole setup is just so we save some time. I think it's like two seconds. So we don't get stopped for this cutscene with the camera here. Just enter the room and strut D is yours. In strut D, we're going to go over here. At this point, you can do a cartwheel down the stairs. It's slightly faster. You come over here. You can do one more cartwheel down here now. And what you want to do is, you want to fall over the railing. I'm going to utilize turbo again, because I want to take the um, jump over the railing like this, from the front. Like, I don't want this to happen, so that I come from here. Then I'll lean against the railing and then do the jump over here. That's actually slower. Something that I picked up from VR. So, cartwheel. Cartwheel, and then ideally from the front. Drop down, catch yourself. And now you gotta be fast, because there's a guard coming and the guard will see you. There's two ways of dealing with the guard. Quite simple, don't worry about it. First off, you go over here and open the hatch. You're gonna skip the cutscene. I specifically turn turbo off, because this is the method I use. I have the M9 in my hand right now. What I can do is, I can hold L1, or the trigger here, uh, the bumper here, and then shoot the guard first with X. After that, I wanna crouch, equip the coolant spray, and then start spraying the bomb. And as I crouch here, you get a fast bomb defuse. Nothing else you need to do. Frozen. You can go over the codec here, and here's a thing that I haven't shown you. When you defuse that bomb and you're crouching in front of it, you can actually stand up in just the last moment. So once again, we come over here. Who's there? And then as soon as the light on the bomb starts going slightly orange, stand up. You can keep spraying, 
But that way you are standing up already before this codec starts and you can move on a little bit faster. And you will still have a fast bump if you do it uh, ideally. So once again, we have a terrible fast forward here. After that, we unequip the coolant, start walking forward and do a cartwheel over this guy because he would slow us down. You can do one cartwheel here, you can do two cartwheels here. Another here. Another here, maybe one more here. And you can just leave the room. Now, there's a different thing that we can do if you don't feel comfortable with this M9 shot. Once you enter this uh, hallway, it's always the same. I do a cartwheel over here. You can do cartwheels here. Over the railing. Catch yourself. Over here. And now, instead of using this, we're going to use the coolant spray and then go down. Ideally, you stand up again before the bomb has been fully cooled. Problem now is... You have to get up, unequip the coolant, use the M9, and then walk forward. Personally, for me, I practice this a lot. It's a little bit awkward. You can, if you practice this order of execution, be also just as fast as with the first method. It's entirely up to you. And from here on, we're just going to move on, and we're going to leave this strike. That's basically all we need to do. Just one bump. Not too complex. Leave the room. Turn turbo on, because the first thing we do here is answer a codec. There we go. And then we want to walk over here. Don't do a copy here. It's very risky. You don't fully see where you're going, and you might end up just on the wall. You can do a copy from here, because you see way better where you're going. Even two. Now, before you turn that corner, get ready to equip the box again. Use previous, so just tap L2. Mm -hmm. The guard ever shoots you or just walks away, it's the end of you can just leave the room here. Alright, Strutty, final room before we're done. Another conveyor belt glitch. This time we approach it from the left. You can maybe just go right. I personally have seen it going left first, so that's what I'm going to show you. Go here. You can do up to two car wheels to align yourself. I was slightly too slow on that one. I'm too far right. So that's why I usually only do one. And then again, line against here. Ava, look at the Rex box, or just use the M9. Both are fine with the alignment. Triangle and hold slightly forward. Let go as early as possible. Or, you know, if you have just good movement, you can do it like this. Forward and then immediately turn left. Once again, you can Ava equip the box. This time box free and walk right. Or you can do a cartwheel and equip the box during the cartwheel. And that's it. You're at Strade. You just walk up the stairs. And after that, you can enter the elevator. During the end, uh, elevator entrance, there's two things you can do. You can ever do a carpet over there, or you can do a carpet over there and equip the box. Now, there's the discussion, what is faster? As long as you just hold codec here. Hold codec so you answer the codec first frame, and then you skip them. And after this, you're done. You just have one more bomb to defuse, and you can face off with Fortune in the first boss fight of the plant chapter. Thanks everyone for watching, I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something from it, and I see you on the leaderboards. Check out the Metal Gear Speedrunners Wiki of course as well for more tips and tricks, and to find out how to run the rest of this game.